Yeah, nothing. Nobody expected what came after this. Generic control in the deck, guys. I'm here back with another Star Trek video. Today, we're doing Iron Man, which he uploaded two hours ago. It was brought to my attention during my Pokemon live stream, which you can actually catch those videos up on my gaming channel, Duck Goose Game, where I'm doing my Pokemon White Tomb Nuzlocke. But I think it was brought to my attention by it was either Pierre, Honest Reviewer, it might have been Subi. I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure it was one of those three that came in and said he just uploaded a new video I might be interested in. It. And I literally Googled or not Googled it, but I searched in Star Trek on my phone midstream and saw those Iron Man. I was like, yep, that's a we're doing this week last week was also a new upload it was a movie that traumatized me as a child and it was Zathura it's over there on the side but I'll leave it right up there if you can check my reaction to it also gonna be linked down below the description also gonna be a playlist on my channel with all my other nostalgic creative videos going in chronological order if you can check those out there's even a cameo from Doug in one of those which we need to do another one probably for the 100th video which will probably battlefield earth and uh, might get a cameo just for that video uh, and see just what happens I might make a list of things I might pay extra to get ac additional characters to put in the cameo request like just spend an outrageous amount of money just telling them all the things i've never seen but shout out to patrons they let me to do things like that i really could not do those do all these videos if it was not for them i do read every single one of your comments at least so down below um last week's a third people were either traumatized like me by it or they loved it you were either a kid that loves a third or a kid that were t that was terrified as a third see more were like loved it than were terrified of it but it's still weird how you either love it or hate or scared of it not really hate i don't really hate the third just traumatizing but i look forward to jumping to this video under 20 minutes long i love the iron man movies i actually just saw ant-man 3 this past friday or two fridays ago for you but i'm excited to jump into this let's go ahead and get on into it all right this episode brought to you by bespoke post, bespoke post. okay box of awesome today I've heard Guess good things what? about it. I'm coming to Dublin. Come Dublin. see me in Ireland at Vatican, March 25th to Vatican. the 26th. And the weekend right after that, you can see me in Chicago at Chicago? March 31st, I've been to Chicago April once. I'm going to a different convention that weekend, however. And I'm also going to the Kid Leroy concert that weekend. Yeah, there's a... There's a... Like a... There's a convention going on in Winston-Salem I'm going to try to go to. Me and Kirby are both going to try to go at least one of the days to it. Uh, it'd be really cool. But hey, I got a passport now. Still need to put this into use, but... Dublin? <laughs> no, no, no. That'd be a little much. Not, not with the tax bill that I just figured out I have to pay. Um... <laughs> oh, buddy. But hey, Iron Man. I, I haven't seen any of like, the Marvel movies since um, Endgame. I also never saw any Ant-Man movies except for the Ant-Man 3 movie I saw this past weekend. Hello, <laughs> or release day, I guess. Guy, remember it so you don't have. To. But I remember seeing Iron Man in theaters. One of the most successful, popular, and longest-running cinematic universes of all time. Start with the director coming off of a bomb. That was last week's video. Raping for roles and goop punch line. No. If she's like known for Iron Man and one other movie that's yeah, not good. There's no anniversary or special occasion for this. I think watching Sathura last week just got me going down the John Fav rabbit hole, and I was just in the mood to look back on a film that led to what many considered impossible at the time. I'm just saving Being Marvel. Entering big budget movies into comic book style serials literally based on comic Yeah, Robert Downey Jr. really changed the game. Comic book films were just he's not the most amazing person the in the world. Peaks. Good actor, Dark Knight though. literally coming out the same year, and like I said, this film about to launch a cinematic juggernaut. Mm -hmm. Sometimes with juggernaut. But at the time, <laughs> Iron Man was certainly known by the that was in, like, person, the Deadpool but movies. nowhere near as big as Batman, Superman, or Wonder Woman. There were no live action shows around him. No. There was a cartoon series that most people didn't even know it existed. It just was a great, name, Tony like, Stark it just was caught on. Knowledge. But with the Spider-Man and X-Men movies still holding their own okay, Marvel thought it was time to take Tony out of his cave, so to speak. And thrust him into the spotlight. So, almost. Oh wow, that is a very later, coarse is hair. Is this film deserving to have started like, why does that one hurt? of the most profitable universes of all time? Well, let's There's take a beard hair. This is, you know, who he is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, spoiler. Right. This is before Mickey I'm Spider-Man. So we got a pair of Iron Man. That must be why the Marvel logo isn't half the film's running time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We That's open the in first Afghanistan, one. so you know it's going to start off low-key. The music. As billionaire muted. Tony Stark, played by Robert Downey Jr., is being transported by the military. To intimidate them. Good God, you're a woman. But you have actually excellent bone structure there. I'm kind of having a hard time not looking at you now. Is that weird? <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, break yep. into the back here. Is it cool if I take a picture with you? I don't want to see this on your MySpace page. <laughs> oh, trust me, you won't. <laughs> They're attacked, though, by some of the film's most delicious irony. 
his own weaponry. Oh, I really should text Bruce Wayne and say, now I know what you're talking about. Bruce Wayne Enterprises? Oh, I've never seen a Batman movie, so. By, oh, such a disappointing reveal later, as we flash back to another flashback talking about Tony's rise in the weapons industry. Yeah. The passing of a Save the world with weapons. Howard Stark's lifelong friend and ally, Obadiah Stane. Okay, even as comic book names go, Obadiah Stane is a little much. Eh. What was Ezekiel Harsh not available? Abraham <laughs> Crush Push already taken? Well, I'm not Tony Stark. This is Bell's. Been there. <laughs> Jeff Bridges plays Jebediah Blemish in a look that's so different from his usual attire, people didn't even know he was playing the part. Even Marvel, I really? forgot. Inside there, Lebowski. No, Lucy. Wait, wait, magazine. what? Can I ask you a couple of questions? You ever lose an hour of sleep your whole life? I'm prepared to lose a few with you. Tony spends most of his time being Smooth. cocky, spending money he clearly has, and. I mean, he has a lot cocky. of money. You've been called the Da Vinci of our time. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't paint. And what do you say to your <laughs> other paint. name? The Merchant of Death. That's not bad. That's why he's already taken. Robert Downey Jr. is beyond perfect in this role. He's full of himself, but he has just enough charm and humanity Those that cars. you want to root for him. In fact, let's be honest, the Iron Man films, for all their profit, are, shall we say, uneven at best? It really is his charisma and perfect balance of yeah. likable and flawed Downey and Jr. carries this. Icon. And truth be told, at the time, this was a bit of a risk. Most people know about his past problems with addiction, and before this film, he was getting work, but he was getting punchlines too. It's fitting this is a redemption story because through pure skill, it's literally one for him. He really has turned things around to become, well, let's face it, a relatable hero to a lot of people. And now he's we no longer Tony and Robert as in Tony because they Marvel both movies, reflect their failings, but also how those failings can be turned around and create something that'll what last are all long those cars? after them. On that note, what's Gwyneth Paltrow been up to lately? You must be Goop. the famous Pepper Potts. Indeed, I am. Shouldn't you be singing how I'm your guest or something? Tony still has you picking up the dry cleaning. Occasionally taking out the trash. Ooh. Got him! Honestly, Paltrow is another one that kind of plays this role to perfection. Her attitude, mannerisms, she, and both the goop. disapproving Watch my John also to goop admiring video. look she gives to Tony really does give what could have been a throwaway character a lot of dimension. We also get support from Colonel Rhodes, played by Terrence Howard. For and now. Happy. Played by John Favreau, thank they kept him around forever. Less distracting the Tarantino's performances or other egomaniacs. What? With the small roles they have, they do a good job being the straight men to Tony's one liners. What's wrong with you? I got caught doing a piece for Vanity Fair. He really is the entire cast of succession in one man, isn't he? I've never seen that. He travels to Afghanistan while doing a weapons demonstration for the army. He gets Which captured is crazy. like we saw before and is given basically a metal heart to keep him alive by another prisoner named Jensen, played by Sean too. The terrorists say they want the two of them to build a missile and when Stark Which is crazy. It, it goes about as well as you think. Waterboarding. That's actually just drowning. Holy Iron Man, That's not waterboarding. Here. Oh, wait. <laughs> so basically this whole 20 minutes or so is about as perfect filmmaking as you can expect for something like this. Really? Everything first here 20? is done right. I don't remember the first 20. It's been forever since I've seen this. With Jensen, his hatred for his captors, feeling the amount of time going by, his brilliant plan to act like he's building a missile when really he's building an escape plan just split into parts. Yep. Seeing Tony taken out of his glamorous world to witness what his weapons are being used for and being forced to make more of them is the perfect setup for why he becomes who he becomes. Uh-huh. And it's not like he's bratty at first either, like throwing a bunch of quips and insults and stuff like that. He immediately understands well, the gravity smart. of the situation and treats it seriously so it's believable. We're rooting for him because he does understand the danger, and therefore we feel the weight of what's It, it honestly felt really natural. I know natural. a lot of people love seeing him fly around and blow shit up, but for me, these are the best parts of the movie. When they say he has one day left to deliver, he has to move up his escape plan, but the terrorists catch on and kill Jensen. Yeah. Thank you for saving me. Don't waste it. Don't waste your life. I will partially honor that. Partially? What, what, oh, is that like when you went to like no guest appearances? Sequence. I think they should have played the Black Sabbath song here. It's great in the end credits, but how oh, cool would yeah. it have been with Iron Man all song? this build up to finally see this suit and the first thing you hear is I am Iron Man. Oh, is that actually in the... All pants will be splooged by that point. <laughs> Seeing him get revenge here is so gratifying, and all that is because oh, yeah, this of how dude. effectively and patiently the previous scenes were done. Yep. Yeah, nope. Wow. Wow. That's a lot of my turn. We thank you, Lord, for this moment we're about to receive. I don't know if anything could be as cool as the uh, dodging the oh, tank oh, shot in the missile. It's coolest when it flies. But the suit still has some bugs and conks out on him while taking off. 
Obviously. Eventually found, though, and taken back home. Somehow. American like it's explosions. I want you to call for a press conference now. Call for a press conference? Yeah. Hogan, what on drive. Earth? The people must know. I was embarrassed being in the Shaggy Dog. The what? I get him his press conference and... Burger King? Burger, I don't know uh, why Burger King. I tortured by terrorists. I'm setting up a menu-style killing spree so the chef can make that cheeseburger as his last reflection of joy. That's the goddamn cheeseburger. Wasn't the menu that, thing. like... Wasn't that, like, and a tour show? changing his movie? ways. And with the Strategic Homeland Intervention Enforcement mm, and Logistics chilled. Division. That's quite a mouthful. I know. We're working on it. ABC is thinking of calling it canceled. Oh, was it canceled? I, I never watch any of the Marvel shows. None of them. offer this world than just making things to blow up. I can offer quits and then things that'll blow up. I myself may blow up too. Yeah, maybe. You he might. He's shutting down the weapons manufacturing division, which doesn't make Hezekiah Whiplash very happy. Obviously. Segways. Inside. God, even with a badass suit and a cigar, nobody can make a segue look good. You're right, yeah. The over under on the stock drop is going to be 40 points. You got to let me handle this. 40 point stock drop? Ah. I'm sure Netflix can beat that. Trust me, before I made this film, I did a movie where I played a surfing penguin. I made I've seen that movie. And I bet you're surprised by that. It's my thing. Not knowing movies, but I've known surfs up. I've seen Iron Man, though. Done that. So. Eh. Patty's hey, Irish Doug. Pub. Hey, Doug. Happy birthday, Doug. Oh, is it my birthday, Doug? No, it isn't, Doug. Oh, sorry, Doug. It's okay, Doug. You still get a present, Doug. Why, thank oh. you, Doug. You're welcome, Doug. Who got this for me, Doug? It's from you, Doug. Why, thank you, Doug. Because it's good to get you some presents. You know, one of the most awesome days of the month is when our box of awesome from Bespoke Post arrives. Oh. So we're just going to go ahead and unbox it. I forgot who's sponsor right was. And tell you what we got. And tell you what we got. And tell R you what we got. Okay, fast forward a bit. There we go. Doug. Pretty cool. Doug. Duck. Now, I think it works Duck. like you have to pay to Duck. get the box, Duck. and then you have to pay to Duck. keep the thing. Okay, enough of that. It's a Peak CPO jacket from Line of Trade. Why, that's a great company. They specialize in goods that were designed to withstand the rigors of So, can you just buy life. online? Wow. Why don't you go ahead and try it on, Doug? Oh, is it like a is it like a store now? I thought it was like a, like a mystery box kind of deal. One of the coolest things about Bespoke Post is that every unique <laughs> item is hand curated from a small business that you probably would never have heard of otherwise. Yeah, I literally mentioned from cozy essentials like a duffel bag. I was like, oh yeah, I would love to have a duffel bag. It looks pretty cool. And Rafat, who has that same duffel bag, made me one out of leather, and to now I started, use it every time I travel, awesome and it is amazing. Your answers will help you want some really high quality awesome leather work? Rogue leather on Instagram. Every month across a ton of different categories. Each box is valued at around like, seventy dollars, but you only pay a you fraction. You want handmade coasters for anything? Box of awesome. You'll be high quality. Small Do it. Like ninety percent so of worth everything it. that comes in your box of awesome is from a small up-and-coming brand. It's free to sign up, and you can skip a month or what cancel any time. What is that watch? Look at that. You look just I'm like trying to see what brand that is. One unbelievable story. I tire of you. Get twenty percent off. I don't know who's trying to be there. Is he supposed to be like Boston Dean Winchester? And enter the code nostalgia at checkout. Looks like some Dean Boston Winchester over there. Code nostalgia for twenty percent off your first box. That's boxofawesome.com. Code nostalgia. Fair. This was a good day, Doug. Thank you, Doug. Farewell forever. <sighs> Farewell forever. Done. I won't miss you. <laughs> Goodbye. Hmm. Your first monthly box when you sign up. Yeah, so it is a monthly box. Okay. Like Arkham Asylum for the first time ever every Friday on Twitch. We also have content five days That's a week. That's crazy. Oh, I stream four times a week, but I'm only one person. <laughs> and I also upload at least two videos a week. I'm uploading 18 videos a week now between the Pokemon White 2 Nuzlocke on Saturdays. I don't know whether to describe as horrifying, uh, yeah. romantic, or romantically horrifying. Pepper switches out Tony's heart with an upgrade. For no other reason except she's the only one he trusts. Not sure why it's don't not bloody. Never ask me to do anything like that ever again. I, I don't have anyone but you. Also, if I ever need brain surgery, I'm having you be the doctor because I don't have anyone else to trust but you. I might have hit my head when I fell. Yeah. Tony starts Could've building the gun any suit and montages surgeon. we've seen a million yes. times, but uh, probably hey, we all it. love these montages. Don't act like you don't. And B, Robert Downey really does breathe new life into them. Ten percent thrust capacity, chief lift. Three, oh, he destroys two, the Cobra. One. Which, knowing him, it probably wasn't even a replica. Pepper, can you sew my nose back onto my face? I don't have anyone else. Yeah, but... yeah. All right, yeah. let's make this helmet look a lot bigger on the inside. That really is. We're online and ready. That, for certain virtual that uh, fish so he island. He tries taking it on its first test flight. Is that a McLaren F1? Before you can walk. In three. No, that looks like a noble. I see the color. I think McLaren F1 had in the mirrors. Definitely not an F1. Definitely not an F1. Not a great plan. Not a great plan. Not a great plan. He comes back online just in time, of course, and he arrives at home to see a gift from Pepper. 
Simic Sark has a heart, yep. Aw, his heart is cold, empty, and non-functional. That is sweet. Red Hot Red Carpet is right here at the Disney Concert Hall. When Disney Concert yep. Hall. He shows up to the Was this before Disney bought Rogers, And he does something he Marvel? certainly couldn't have done at home. Flirt with Pepper. Hey, you want to buy a candle? Sorry, I'm just too salty for this, Pepper. He discovers, though, his weapons are being used by terrorists once more, but this time he's going to put a stop to it. Actually, the same way he put a stop to it. That's a long flight. To fly all the way to, like, this Afghanistan. This is another example. These effects don't look real, but they look good. Oh, my God, that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's you right there. He's all yours. Takes off. Oh, man, that was an easy way to die. Awesome, man. No, no. But the military season two. Are those F-22s? Pretty sure they are. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's F-22 Raptors. I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, it's definitely an F-22. Gets away and lets Rhodes know what's going on. F-22. Accidentally Pepper as well. Let's face it, this is not the worst thing you've caught me doing. Agreed. Do now little. To protect the people that I put in harm's way, you're going to walk out? You're going to kill yourself, Tony. Let me at least tell you of the flawlessness of this Ultron plan I got cooking up. Yeah, this Ultron the plan. Joshua Splat is the evil mastermind behind everything, and he uses Stark's technology to incapacitate him. Which is crazy. A new generation of weapons with this at its heart. Which is, I don't even know how that works. Before they blow up, but they will be cheaper. Doesn't that break, like, the laws die, of physics? Iron Tin Man remembers he didn't need a wizard to get a heart, did he? Yeah. The first third is the strongest part of the movie. The last third is the weakest part. I th yeah, I definitely agree first with off, that. The, the fight was anticlimactic. Pepper Potts line delivery. Seriously, I swear she becomes Mark Wahlberg from The Happening here. My key's not working. It's not opening the door. Oh, wow. What's that? It's like a little device. What's... It's like a thing that's going to... Nope. Look, I don't know if you guys have heard about this article in the New York Times about honeybees vanishing. <laughs> what? Second, I will love this guy as a main villain, but not as a surprise villain. It feels so good seeing Stark get revenge with uh, the terrorists because you've seen the hell they put him through. But the final boss should be equally built up. Hell, no, not really. Up. And twist villains don't usually have that because there's supposed to be a surprise. A twist villain is good for a mystery. Who does? And the line you that he out? comes out and says, "I am I'm Iron Man." Really that great for a big alibis climax because you haven't spent that much time hating them. As such, when Solomon Smack has to say all these evil one-liners in his Full Metal Alchemist cosplay, <laughs> oh god, ow! Audi, obviously. Yeah, I guess I'm killing families in public now. I don't know. Sure, stocks won't be affected by this. Yeah, stocks be fine. Also, is he roaring? I think. This looks important. Is it important? Do not abide, dude smash! Even a T-Rex would be like, dude, you have to have better lines than that. Fair. I never had a test for like a this prototype sort of for the Hulkbuster. It shows. Seriously, am I supposed to take any of this seriously? I just want him any second to shout, I am the Rhino! The Rhino. Circuit his suit, resulting in a oh my god, sky beam. I didn't know you went back this far. And he's taking up quick, but honestly, on one of the best notes a movie like yeah, this could. I'm Iron Man. Truth is, I am Iron Man. Yeah, there you go. That's how you get headlines. What a great spot to leave off. Imagine not knowing yeah. there's going to be other Marvel movies in extended universe, any of that. Yeah, just nothing. Guy, Nobody expected what came after identity this. At the end of the first movie. What is going to come of that? And by God, what is going to come of that with this character? Also, a lot. pretty cool. This little stinger legit earns all the hype it built up. Who the hell are you? Samuel Nick Fury. Is it? I'm here to talk to you about the Avenger Initiative. Uh, if there's anything mermaids have taught me, it's that if you change the race, nobody's going to see it. Sorry, MCU, Rip. there's just no money in this. <laughs> what? And that was Iron Man. Flawed, but not in a major way. I do kind of wish the last third was as epic as the first third. You know, third, it but served its purpose, I would say. 100%. origin story that led to a lot more epic moments. And, man, again, this really is Downey Jr.'s movie. That's not all to say the second one is directed or anything like that. But 
I feel like the mistakes would have stood out With a the lot F1 more if his charm wasn't anchoring the whole thing. The third one. I don't Jesus. know if there's ever going to be reboots of Tony Stark as Iron Man in the near or far future, but if there are, they have an incredible. I think they hard literally just came out and said. Say this is one of the great Robert Downey Jr. Book is no longer any Marvel movies or something. It is one that stands like out because them. of what it started, and in some respects, the formula it set up. Yes, Marvel movies have varying styles, but you know everyone points to this, saying it has to be in the same universe where this Iron Man can exist as well. Yeah. Whatever style you go for, it can't be too different from this. And because that really started that everything. All these years later, it's a good time. Finish on blood of the tank. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, later. Still a good movie. Nostalgia critic, I remember. Because the second one was the electric whip, dude. Next month is March. You know what that means? Well, I don't know what that means. Pirates Month! Pirates Month? Oh, okay. That That's the thing we're doing? Oh, wow. What's that? It's like a little device. It's like a thing that's going to pick the lock. We're, we're doing pirates, huh? We're still doing cameos for charity. And I need this to month do. We're doing Code Angels. This one was actually yeah. started by uh, I'm going to do years. another uh, cameo from him. New warm it's hilarious. I might do it for the they, Battlefield Earth it's video. Up over 4, kids, but that's only a fraction um, of so maybe if we can get a list of the things that he will find the most shocking, still gets crazy cold and here. I'll just be like, hey, viewers loved it. Uh, they loved you ranting about me not seeing stuff. So if you want a video of me saying happy birthday, like there's a character limit. Click on the link below and So I guess rank them of importance, and I could. I don't want to. Waste too much well, of his time. To this charity anyway. Just hear him break. Organization doing wonderful things. Check him out when he gets yeah. a chance and see all the incredible he things would they accomplish. Have an aneurysm. Completely understandable, though. Uh, it'd be awesome to meet him in person and just and he'd just ask, "Wait, have you seen this?" We're like, "No." We're like, "Have you seen this?" No. He'd be like, "My God, man, what have you seen?" It would be absolutely hilarious. This is the earliest I've ever been to a nostalgic review. This video came out two hours ago, which is just crazy. Um, like I said, patrons got the videos day early. I, I literally can't do this. Also, Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania, first day of my movie I've seen. <laughs> I didn't see the first or second one, but I went to the theaters to see the third one. Why? Because I'm me. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to reading your comments down below. That means he's obviously gonna start doing like the Marvel, like Iron Man two and uh, Iron Man three and stuff like that. So that's gonna be awesome. But I'm really surprised Disney and Marvel are letting him get away with this review. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. Nonetheless, I look forward to the next one. Let me know what that one should be down below in the comment section. But until then, take care and keep the music. We were playing.